Well, in case you didn't hear, something happened this weekend in Colorado that only happens a handful of times every year across the entire country. A person died after being bit by a rattlesnake. It's a stark reminder of the potential danger lurking alongside our trails here. Watching out for your health tonight. News 5's Zach Baxton in studio tonight with more. Zach. Well, Rob, 31-year-old Daniel Haas, who you see right here, was a triathlete from Steamboat Springs who had just moved to Golden. An otherwise ordinary trail hike on Saturday ended on the wrong side of 1 in 50 million odds. His death from a rattlesnake bite serves as an important reminder of the real risk, however rare, of a deadly encounter with one of nature's most famous creatures. It is pretty rare in this country to die from a rattlesnake bite. Seldom. Hardly ever happens, fortunately. Every year in the United States, around 8,000 people are bitten by snakes. On average, no more than five die from it. The odds of being killed by lightning are larger. It happened Saturday in Mount Galbraith Park in Golden. I was pretty shocked, to be honest with you, to hear that a young man was killed um, by a rattlesnake native to this region. At Scales and Tails Reptile Shop, snakes, including rattlers, are their bread and butter. They're not out to get us. Um, they're very elusive creatures. Rattlesnakes will not always rattle. Uh, their rattle is more for our benefit than for their benefit because they're trying to warn us about, hey, <laughs> I mean, don't tread on me. When they do strike, the consequences can be severe. If you're seeing a whole lot of swelling, then you know you got venom in there. ER docs at both Memorial and Penrose say if you're bit, go to the hospital. Only they have the antivenom. There's only one treatment. It's what we call, we call it Crofab. It's an anti-venom uh, medication. You inject it into the, into the body and it's, uh, it binds up with the venom and prevents it from acting further. Trying old school techniques simply won't work and could do more harm than good. Trying to suck out the venom, uh, which used to be something that we were taught, also has been proven not to help at all. Don't put a tourniquet on. The tourniquet will sp stop the spread of the venom, but it will cause a lot of local tissue destruction if you do that. And you could, people have lost their limbs because of that. There's really nothing that you could do if you're bit by a venomous snake other than remaining calm and seeking medical attention as soon as possible. Now get this, deaths from snake bites are so rare that hospitals aren't required to specifically track them. It's not clear when the last time was that someone else in our state died after being bit by a rattler. Robin Elizabeth, 